In this video, we're going to show you how to create an alert profile in the NetBees dashboard. First thing you need to do is go to the cog top right hand corner, left hand side to anomaly detection, back over to the right for add alert. And what you'll see is you'll have a couple different options here, which include up, down, down, up, baseline, and watermark. So up, down is going to be your traditional reachability test of something reachable or not, if you ping, DNS, HTTP, and trace route. Down up is going to be the opposite, really useful for situations where you want to make sure something isn't reachable. Uh, same thing, ping, DNS, HTTP, and trace route. Baseline is going to give you a multiplicative number like 1.5x or 2x the day, week, or monthly average. Really good for verifying uh, if you have equipment with a wide range, if you're in like the middle of a refresh or some legacy equipment, that's going to give you some varying responses. Here you'll get packet loss, round trip time, lookup, response time, etc. And Watermark is going to allow you to really dial in or, or set a specific test. Really good for SLAs, getting exact performance, uh, making sure that your infrastructure is within a certain level. You know, packet loss can be more than a half a percent would be an example. Uh, same thing, packet loss, RTT, lookup time, response times, etc. will be your options there. Uh, we recommend five minutes to 15 minutes is a really good number to work with. Uh, you can do one minute, but it's a little bit tight to do that. And one hour and four hours might not give you the desired results. Um, and then you have an option one week, one month, or you can also do one day. Uh, that's really up to you. If there's a big performance spike in the middle of the day, then one day averages might be um, a little bit skewed. So one week or one month might be more ideal there. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to do a watermark one. And let's call it 20, we'll do 20 milliseconds so we can identify uh, what this test does. And we're going to do RTT. Uh, here we'll put in 20 milliseconds. And we're going to want to do five minute average. One minute's a little bit tight. Usually five or 15 minutes is usually preferred. And then we're going to click save. And you'll see here, it'll go ahead and pop up here. If we want to go ahead and make it the default, we could. I elected in this case not to, so we'll leave that unchecked. And all we have to do is... Um, Let's go ahead and get this assigned to some targets here. So we'll go to the cog, edit a target, and you can see here towards the bottom, it's already populated, you just click save. It'll automatically add this particular profile to all the agents running this test. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at success at netbees.net.